Hi everyone, Letty here. Today I'm gonna to share with you a not too shabby shop. This is a design team project share. We're gonna make shaker mini slimline cards featuring the paper ink donut hog stamp set. So again, that was nottooshabbyshop.com. Here is their logo. I will link their website uh, and a coupon code down in the description box below. I'm part of their design team for this term. I'm gonna be using the Donut Hog stamp set by Papery Ink that is found in Jamie's shop. I'll try to see if it is still available. And if it is, I will definitely link it down in the description box below as well. So you can try to pick it up. It is such a cute stamp. I did a project, uh, I think last week and I'll link that down below as well. So I'm also gonna be using the paper pad from the May box of the month. It's such a fun uh, pad. I'm gonna be using this little faux glittered pink paper um, from this It's a Fresh Summer paper pad. And then I have two dies I'm using today and I put I purchased both of them from the Not Too Shabby Shop. If they're available, I'll link them down below. This one's the Wonky Windows die by Sunny Studio. You can see there I have the like inlays of when I die cut this out on, on my uh, templates. And then I have the large mini slimline stackables lawn fawn die. Again, I also purchased this in Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop. So again, if it is available, I'll link it down in the description box below. Hopefully they are still available so you can take a, you can, you can purchase it because this is such an amazing die. Both of these dies were really, really fun to use. And then the paper pad that I'm, or the additional paper I'm using is the Made With Love by Doodlebug. Uh, it's such a fun collection as well. So I'm going to be using that for part of my project today. So I'm also going to be using some sprinkles um, and sequins. So I'm using the Cat Scrappiness Strawberry Shortcake Sprinkles. These came in a box of the month from a couple months ago. And then I'm also using the This Calls for Confetti Sparkle All the Way color. Um, I purchased these from the Not Too Shabby Shop as well. And then this is Paper Rose's uh, Baby and Hearts Shaker Mix. I did not purchase this from Not Too Shabby. I think this is one of the few items I did not purchase. Um, I did get these from, I think it was scrapbook.com. So super fun, but I love these little pastel shakers. So let's go ahead and make the shaker cards. So what I'm doing is I've already prepped both of the bases off camera and then we're gonna assemble them together on camera. So I have my mini slim lime card base. I have my back mat, which is two and three quarters by five and three quarters, just like this. And I leave a little bit of width so I can go ahead and glue my front mat, which is three inches by six inches. And you see here, I have already die cut out both of my dies. I've already done the stitch border and then I did the wonky shapes in the middle. I have already die cut those out. And I did already add acetate to the uh, back of this front mat. And then I have already added the double-sided foam around the border and to the inside. And so I figured I did three little sections so I could put the, the sequins and the, the sprinkle stuff right on the inside and it'll make it the shaker um, be very, very evenly distributed. So I've already done that to both of my shaker fronts. Um, we are gonna assemble the card together. Um, and I have my shaker bits ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue down and I'm using my tape runner uh, adhesive. This is double-sided adhesive. I am on their design team as well, um, but I'm gonna be using this one. I just find this one has a really good hold and I actually use this one to help glue down my acetate to the back of my card mat as well because it has very, very firm hold. And I think it's actually better from a, from a firm standpoint uh, compared to the ATG tape runner. So. I'm going to go ahead and use my, my tape runner adhesive today. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the front mat right to the side so I can get a, a kind of gauge or get an idea of where my three areas on the front of my uh, shaker are going to be. And again, you, you I mentioned that I, I did put the foam tape to divide out each evenly the three sections. So that way my shaker will be very evenly distributed amongst the whole card. If all you did was add the border on the outside, the foam tape on the outside of the mat, all of your sprinkles will fall to the very bottom and then there'll be no sprinkles at the very top or in the middle section. So now I'm just gonna kind of lay it out, just making sure that I have things where I want them. I'm gonna remove the backing from my double-sided foam adhesive. And I did pick up this uh, double-sided foam tape from Dollar Tree, I believe. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lay it down very carefully, trying to get an even border on my card and then just adjust press down firmly all the way around, including on the inside, and then my shaker is ready. Now, I did kind of stuff these a little bit too much, so it's kind of hard to shift, um, but I can kind of massage them out and kind of uh, maneuver this, the sprinkles off camera later, no big deal. 
So I've already done the first card. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just do the second one off camera. Here we go. Now we have both of our shakers ready to go. I just repeated the same exact process for the second one. Now I'm gonna add my stamped fussy cut and colored images to the front of my card just in a little pattern that I think will work um, and I am including a, a little piece of the sentiment as well or the stamp sentiment on these no one stacks up to you these images from this papery ink stamp set are just so stinking cute if you have not seen my first video um, for the design team project for this month I will link it uh, I'll probably link it at the very end of this video but then I'll also link it down below in the description um, so you can check it out it is so fun and I do a little bit more of a close-up of the stamped image Images and how I added glossy accents and things to them. Here are the two adhesives I'm going to be using to kind of finish tying off the or gluing the uh, elements to the top of the card. I'm using the wet glue anywhere that the uh, image is going to hit the actual paper and then you'll see in a second where I'm going to be gluing right over the acetate on my second card. I'm actually going to be using the tape runner because again I felt like it worked excellently with the uh, gluing on top of the acetate. So I'm just adding these images. So again, I'll link my first project with this stamp set down in the description box below. I do believe this stamp set is still available. I hope it is for your sake. It is such a cute stamp. Um, definitely hop on over to the Not Too Shabby Shop if you're interested. And again, I'll link a coupon code down in the description box below so you could take advantage. Jamie usually always has some type of coupon code. Here is my card number one. So I'm not going to shake it too, too much just a little bit because I don't want to get you dizzy, but that was card number one. So now I'm just going to go quickly go in and glue the remaining elements to my card number two shaker. Super fun, super easy. These come together so super easy. Um, and what I love about uh, making multiple cards is if you assembly line the process, meaning you do all of your stamping at one time, you do all of your cutting at another time, and then you assemble. It just makes it go so, so quick. So here I'm adding the tape runner adhesive right onto the backs of these little donuts, and I'm just gonna stagger them having one in each window, just for an added little bit of fun. So you see here, I did use two slightly different designs on the two shaker cards. Here is card number two, super, super fun. So again, again, I'm not shaking it too, too much because I don't want to get you too dizzy, but there are the two cards. So let me just do a quick close up. So I had two shaker mini slimline cards. Super fun. Here's the first one. You can see all those fun shaker bits. They're just so super fun. They look so pretty inside. And when you shake them, they do move around for the most part, which is fun. And then here is the second card. Super, super fun as well. So cute. Perfect for a piggy lover, a donut lover, a pink lover, any of the above. So, and then here is the Papery Ink Donut Hog Stamp Set. Again, that was part of my design team project for this month uh, from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I'll link the website link and a discount code in the description box below so you can definitely check it out in case you're interested. Make sure you also check out my first video using this same stamp set. Thanks for visiting everyone. Hope you subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram. Here are a couple videos I think you might enjoy and happy crafting.